Hello, KW agents. I hope you're doing well. So a question that we've been getting a lot is, I have an addendum or I need to make some changes in my contract or any kind of form or document that you have in DocuSign and it has been signed and now I cannot pull in another addendum or another version of that document or anything like that. So I just wanted to clear some things up. So I pulled up a document um, section in one of my DocuSign rooms. And so this is a room where I really only added two documents. So the two documents that I added, I added the addendum to contract. And then over here, I added the as is residential contract for sale and purchase. And then you'll see, even though I've only got two documents that I added to the room, I actually, it looks like I have five documents. The reason for that is because once I send a document out through an envelope in DocuSign, and that now becomes a signed version of that document, we hold on to the original document, which is the one we can go in and change. And then this is basically almost making like a version of that specific form. So I'll show you what I mean. So if I click on this document, which is the as is residential contract for purchase that I sent out for signature, I'm going to see that I've got initials and signatures all throughout it. So I can download this as a PDF, do whatever I need to it. Now let's say that our buyers or our sellers maybe signed that. Then we go into contract negotiations or we realize we wrote something incorrect or we need to make some sort of changes. You're not going to go into this document that is the signed document to make the changes. You're going to go into the original document, which is basically, you can think of it almost as like a master document. Um, so it's never going to show signatures or initials. This is the document that then I would go in and I would make any changes. So if I needed to come down here and say we're changing the amount in escrow, or perhaps we're changing the purchase price, or anything like that, you'll see I'll make the changes, save and close, and then take that document and that's the one that I put into the envelope, so then they go in and they would sign whichever one they are. Um, so I hope that clears that up. So again, you're never having to go in and mark up a document numerous times. It's basically holding into different versions of that document. Now we see the same thing with an addendum to contract. So we might have written something in this addendum to contract. For example, maybe we wrote that the sellers agreed to pay X amount, right? So that was an addendum to the contract where we filled that all out. We sent that to both parties. They went in and they signed it, they initialed it, we're ready to rock and roll. Now we need to add an additional addendum because we have more that we wanna add. So perhaps we're changing the closing date or different things like that. We're not gonna come up here and choose add and go into DocuSign forms and add the addendum that way, right? Because if we actually go in that way, we see that if we try to go into it, these forms are actually grayed out which I understand then you think, well, I need this document, why can't I add it? You can't add it because it's already been added to the room. So we would just go back into this addendum and then we would be able to go in, type whatever we needed to for this specific addendum, put that it's you know, the second addendum or whatever it is, and then we would do the same thing. You'll see there's no buyer signatures or seller signatures. So we would write whatever we needed to now for this second addendum save and close and send that through the envelope. Now, if it starts to get confusing and we don't know what's what, we can always right click on any of the documents and we could rename it. So we could name this the closing cost addendum, right? And so then we're seeing what that is. So then we just know this is the one for that. This is the original addendum. So we're always going to go into the original document, make any changes, send those out for signatures, and then you'll always have older versions. Again, same way we've got that functionality. So if this is the as is contract, it's maybe an older version. We don't even want to see it anymore. We're just going to right click on it and we can archive it. And then it's going to tell us we're going to archive it. It's been archived. We can always look at archived documents at the top of the page. We can look at all documents or archived or just active. So I hope that helps. Again, we're always going to have that main kind of master document. That's the one we always make the changes off of. And then we get copies almost of that document based off of signatures or initials. 
Hope that clarifies, gives you guys some help. If you have any questions, we're all here to help. Thanks so much. Make it a fantastic day.